you, you were very friendly, and you, you, I think, extended yourself as a, besides professionally, you were very friendly and said, I'm going to send you a popcorn machine. You remember all that? Yeah. Uh, and I thought that uh, I didn't really respond equally. I never forget some of these things, because you're a really solid guy. I always remember that line. <coughs> I never got the popcorn machine. Well, the show went off the air. Was like, no, no. But the, the truth of it is, I, got, I didn't think I deserved the popcorn. I'm not making a joke. I thought that I just didn't... I thought it was symbolic, because I, I thought you really extended yourself, and I didn't sort of appropriately extend myself back. So I'd like to... Uh, Make it up to me by coming in here and smacking me in the face a few times? I'm going to allow you to hit me so hard that I don't have to... Um, Work again for the next five years? Finish these DVDs. You're the last person. I really wanted to, do, to see you. But I, I really, uh, yeah, I want to uh, apologize for that. I didn't forget. And then I called you to do this, didn't I? Uh -huh. And then I didn't follow through and I lost your cell number and I lost your phone numbers. But you did invite me to come down and watch you do a show in Manhattan Beach or somewhere? Newport? What is the place? If, if I did that, that meant uh, I was being very friendly. I didn't know I did that. If I, you did that. Because <coughs> I don't let anybody come. Did you not? Me. Did you, do you take it back? You don't want me to come down there now? You should come down and see me because uh, I talk about... Because uh, it's an evening of comedy? Huh? Because it's an evening of comedy? It's not an evening of comedy. I do about 45 minutes and there's about 10 minutes of comedy, if you call that an evening. <laughs> But the fact is, is I talk about life and troubles and everything that I hope that's uh, real. I'd love you to see it. I'd love to see it. See if I still, see if you can then tell me what I got. See if it's fucking My favorite line from the My favorite line from the show, you come off stage during the show, within the show, and you say to Rip, I can't help it. I keep seeing him and Francine, him fucking her brains out. And she's on top. Yeah. Rip says, the lazy bastard. Yeah, the lazy bastard. Rip. And Roy London directed that one. I don't want to lose this moment of you coming on the show a minute, though, because actually I'm just curious for myself. So you came on, and really, such a big uh, star to come on to do that show, it was, it was really important. Not only was it hilarious, and your work is phenomenal, seriously, but you have this sense of play that, you know, is astonishing. So what were you feeling that you, when you came in to do that, that you were so committed? You just commit, don't you? Well, I, I look at the show and I say, is it a show I like? And do I want to be a part of that? And, and I also say to myself that a lot of these people you do these shows with, they obviously could, you know, you, you can't be funny the way they are. I'm not as funny as you. I'm not as quick as you. So you don't try to do that. You just, you realize, even if I have to, humiliate myself, I want to be a funny element in a show I think is fun. Like SNL. Warren Michael sat me down <clears throat> when I did SNL and he said, either we send up your persona because you're like Stallone and we mock your career. He goes, you're not like that. He goes, well, you come on and join us and be a regular cast member and just pull your pants down and humiliate yourself. So that's well, what I do. You just have the natural strength. You don't need to worry about being funny. You and I, you you're an actor. What is it you said? So, I, I see that you and I have something in common, don't we? <clears throat> and I say, uh, yes, yes. <clears throat> Alec uh, dated my wife, Francine, while we were separated. And I said, uh, no, I say that to you. I go, you know, Larry, you and I have something in common. And you go, yes, we do. Yes, yes we, we do. do. Yes, we yes, do. We do. <laughs> yes, we do. We both have done. Uh, you dated my wife, Francine, while we were separated. Yeah. And I go, no, I was referring to our work for juvenile diabetes. And I said, ah, that too. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact is, Alec, the fact is, buddy, is the walk down the hallway with you, which I also did, was... Uh, Bodies only, right? Yes. Okay. And not that... And somewhat controlled, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's what he's trying to tell you. Is that a, no contact? Or not even hugging? No snuggling? Okay. I don't no know that you can control yourself. No snuggling?
you look at my feet. I'm looking at your breasts. Oh, so you throw it high. Look. You realize you hit? Step to your right. Keep stepping, keep stepping. There you go. Five seconds. Time. Walk around, shake it out. I'm exhausted. Uh, that was good. <coughs> that was very good. <laughs> I'm exhausted, Dave. I know. You need to stop breathing. That was good. You got a good balance. Very good balance. How you feel? <coughs> I need to be trained. Look, just, you mean you seem pretty relaxed. You got good balance. You're moving around nicely. Now, G, you got to remember, you your whole thing is quickness, so you got to keep stepping, right? G, got to keep stepping, and don't forget to breathe, right? <coughs> you with me over there? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna. You want to do that? And one I more wasn't time? relaxed. Bouncing? Yeah. Bouncing too much? No, no. You were stepping fine. Everything you were stepping fine. It's just that. Uh, you know, people tend to, if you follow his, his lead, well, you he, was know what freezing I do. You, he was freezing you to get you to stand in front of him and then he could step in, right? So just keep with your lateral movement. Keep your hands up and your chin down. See, it's true that people who have, I'm asking you, is it true? Mm -hmm. That people who have limited punching gifts, if all I've got is a good right hand, straight right hand, mm -hmm. I'm telling you that with everything I do, isn't that true? You if you're a real boxer. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm always trying to set that up. Set that up, right. So you see that, mm -hmm. you know? So you got to try to... So you just always yeah. walk away from that. And try to get him to buy it. That's, because that's cool. So that's, like, Hi. You see, I'm trying to set that up. That's all I really got. It's going to hurt you. <laughs> if you everything else is... If my balance isn't great for this. No, well, your jab is... You, you're in position for a nice jab, nice one-two. A real good one-two. You got... I mean, your balance is great. And you look like you should have a good hook, right? These 18-ounce gloves, it's like... It's like we're... You gotta protect your hands. It's like we're... It's like we're what dancing about the masculinity with, issue? We're dancing with two sofas on my hand here. <laughs> what? We're dancing with two sofas on my hand here. Secure in your masculinity? <laughs> Seriously. Since my divorce, I'm not very secure about my masculinity. Did it, did it sh did but that's my it? DVD package on my <laughs> best... I'll come on your DVD and yeah. talk about your marriage. There you go. No, I, I'll, I'll come on your DVD and talk about your ex But those rela relationships uh, are most likely to do cause uh, some doubt as yeah. opposed to anything else, right? Yeah. Triggers all those buttons. Let's talk about my divorce for like another 10 or 15 seconds, then let's box. <laughs> yeah, that's good timing. I'd rather, <laughs> if, we, if we go in the, in the area again, I'd rather talk let's put about my ex wife's Let's put my ex-wife's divorce lawyer on speakerphone and let's rumble. Keep stepping. Get off the ropes. Good. Keep your hands up. Chin down. Keep stepping. Just bounce. Give me a little bounce. You got a little bounce in you. Breathe deeply. Breathe through your nose. No, no. Don't come forward. Just dance around. Step around. Step around. Hands up. Step around. Step. Oh, time, time, time. Walk the right side. What do I do with that? You gotta dance around. Remember I told you keep your elbows in front of you and keep your chin down? So when he goes to grab you like that to put compression on your chest? I I, I mean this seriously. I mean how can uh that's, <laughs> how can you be in a relationship when <laughs> you can get that carried away?